Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's just our team is capable of doing anything. It really is. So if we can go out there and make those plays, it doesn't matter if it's 0 0, 15 15, whatever, we can do those things. And, and I think our group knew that. You know I mean, it, it's more so not so much me as it is our group. Hey, I think we can handle this and be okay. Because we did. And it was really cool to see. This was obviously a big match tonight against Western Michigan. Uh, how, how big a win, not just the win, but to, to dominate, do it in three sets. Uh, how, how, how good is that? Every time we're going to play in our division, it's going to be, a, I mean, it's going to be a war. Any match in our, in our conference is going to be a battle, and it's not really coach speak, it's the truth. Um, so we ended our first half of division tonight, and we knew that this was going to be a critical match for not only tonight, but for down the road. So um, it was really good for us to go out there and, 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 and literally just defend our home court, not let the ball hit the ground. You know, they're a great defensive team. Uh, they're, they're, they're a diverse offensive team. So for us to have control, it was really nice for us tonight. What impressed you the most about Laura tonight? Across the board, she was very, very good, of course. What, what was the best thing she did for you tonight? I think, I was joking with her the other match, I said, I think for the first time in a while, I think you had some fun. You know, I mean, I, I, I know, you know, there's people on our team that feels, you know, just the stress of, of just as the season wears on, um, you know, and, and she does. I mean, she, like all our girls, just does, they do amazing things. Um, she got 25 kills tonight, but it wasn't, you know, on 100 swings or something along those lines. It was, it was incredibly efficient, and, and you know, the credit goes to her scoring those points, but it's also, you know, to Kristen running the offense, uh, our middle blockers, you know, freeing up sometimes, but, but she just went up there and just did her thing, and it was, it was great to see. It was great to see her stay in rhythm and really not have a care about what was going on. She knew she was going to be able to put balls away, and she did, she did a great job doing it. 1,000 kills. Fastest NIU player to ever get to that plateau. Uh, what does that mean for her? And uh, describe how special that is. I think it's special for her. I think it's special for people that she's played with. You know, I think she, you know, played with uh, a great defender last year, Maddie Hughes, that helped, you know, take some of the pressure off of her um, from a passing and defensive standpoint. So she was able to go up there and do her thing offensively. Um, then for her to, to work on her, her game to get better in the front row and also in the back row, um, but also having a really good, you know, setter and Kristen to, to help her all those lines. But I mean, it, it's it's been it's it's been very impressive to see what she can do when the ball's in her hands. Um, you know, she, I mean, night after night, people are gonna know that she's a top player. Um, but she still goes out there and she's able to find ways to score and score with ease. Um, and, and she's had such range and things she's done, been able to do. It's really it, I, I'm I'm very fortunate to 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 to, to, to be a part of the coaching staff. Judging from the reaction that you guys had after winning that second set, it almost felt like that that was the game right there when you came back and won and took that 2-0 lead. When you had that intermission, is that kind of how you guys felt after, after that? I think we felt pretty strong about what was going on. It was nice for us to come back. Um, we also knew that we were going to continue to battle, and that's what we were doing. You know, we were battling, battling, battling. We were down. We were able to go up 18-16, I think, when they called uh, think their first time out. So, and then we were able to make another push at 20, another push again at 23. She had a really good swing to get to 24, and then we were able to pull it out to win it at the end there at 22, I think. 25-22, I think. No, 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 no. no the second set or the third set? Oh, I, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I just, I mean, I... I Go back again. Tell me the uh, Just, just the reaction that you guys had going into the locker yeah. rooms after coming back to win like that. I mean, certainly a major momentum shift. Oh yeah. But, but like I say, it, it was. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I just think that you know we knew that still was still gonna be a battle. So we were gonna still play tight. So like this is my told you before going into that third. You know, we did have momentum, but we knew it wasn't. It was far from over. They have two tremendous medals, um, number 14 and number 11. Um, you know, they they have such a great history of, of, of a playing such strong volleyball. They have, two, they have strong hitters, and, and they're very stable. Um, and so we knew that we were going to have to be able to play for a long period of time. So we were going to have to match their intensity um, and also be able to take it another step. So we were trying to be diverse in our offense, trying to be really good at the net blocking and really good defensively. We were able to do all those phases tonight. I think right now we just got to continue to have a really good mindset, um, a really good team mindset, um, to where we, we don't feel like we, we need to rely on one particular person. We have a balance in our, in our team um, and, and continue to press. We're going to go now into the uh, cross divisional um, part of our season. So we're going to play everybody from the East. And it's really important for us. 
to have really good showings because it's only one match against those teams. Um, so when it comes to tiebreakers and things along those lines, we have to we really want to do our best against those teams so to make sure that we, we can win all those tiebreakers towards the end. Awesome. And what are some things you guys do off the court that keep your guys' team strong and together? Because like when I saw you guys, the players on the team really looked like they were close and like friends. And so. it, 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 it's a it's a nice group. It's a special group. Um, we try real hard to work as hard as we possibly can at volleyball, but in the same sense, we really work really hard, you know, with our relationships. And it's really the girls doing. It. I mean, the more things they do internally, the better they are, and, and they and they continue to go. You know, they're with each other every day, um, and it, and it gets to be tough sometimes. But I think for our group, we do a really good job of being together. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That was all right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.